What's going on guys, Icebreaker here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the top three alternative ways to play Boom Beach, including a way that means you will never get attacked, you will never get raided, you will never have any resources stolen from you ever. So if you're interested in learning about that, stay tuned because we're gonna jump into it right now. At number three, we've got the single sniper account. You may have seen accounts like this um, on your maps where it appears that they've built no defenses or they'll only have like a couple of sniper towers or whatever. It's called the single sniper account because you play the game um, without building any extra defenses. The one sniper that you do have is the one that you have to build in the tutorial part of the game. So you have to build that one, but that's it. You don't need defenses in the game. You don't need to protect loot and stuff if you, you know, only raid when you can spend and all that kind of stuff. The idea is, is you build up your account um, using only offensive upgrades. And what happens is you'll find yourself getting quite strong quite quick because all of your XP level will be from any upgrades that make your attacks and your troops and things like that stronger. So by the time you're level 30, you'll be quite easily taken down at level 50 players and things like that quite easily. Generally, people play this play style with obviously all offensive statues as well with some resource rewards and things like that thrown in. Obviously no point using ice and no point using greens because you've got no defenses, so you know. But that doesn't stop one or two people doing that, of course, we have seen that before. Playing this play style is quite popular. A lot of people have played this one now. Um, I've I've built multiple accounts playing this way. Um, the account I'm on right now is, uh, was started this way as a single sniper account. This one is now a HQ24. And the defenses that I've got there are the ones that I needed to get the extra XP um, for HQs 20 and up to 24. Because with only one sniper tower, you can only get as far as this point here level 48 um at which point if you want to if you want to progress you need to put down um the rest of the snipers upgrade the rest of the snipers and then that'll get you hq20 which most people will then stop at hq20 or they used to stop at hq20 because when you get the eighth landing craft and temp statue and things um so that used to be like the stopping point but i've decided on this one to take it to max hq uh, with the absolute minimum amount of defenses as possible so that's where I'm at on this one. This one is completely a normal account in terms of the map. It's all proper PvP. Um, is, you know, I still get to attack player bases. I still get raided. Not very often, but uh, I do still get attacked and stuff. If you've uh, played the game until max level before, you know, like the traditional way, this is a fun way to level up a, a mini account and get it nice and strong for your task force pretty quick. Up next then, we've got the guys who take it to the extreme and they play with no statues. This is like Boom Beach in its rawest form. Um, obviously, they still do all the, all the upgrades on their base and level up everything properly. Even build the sculptor to collect the stones. Um, so that if they decide to put statues down later on or whatever, they can do that. But the idea is, is you start your account and you add no statues at all. You try to do it as completely as bare bones as possible. So no extra GBE, no troop damage or troop health, nothing like that. It is literally just you and the absolute minimum the game gives you and you know you set to it it is quite a challenge way to play i know one or two people who have played this way and they've all said that it's quite a challenge um, especially if you get into higher vp where the bases start to be a bit more developed maybe carry a little bit more ice and stuff that's when these guys start to struggle a little bit operations and that as well you're not going to be as great as operations but it is a challenge if you like a challenge it's a good one to try out and if you're brave enough, why don't you just crush your statues and have a go right now? <laughs> there's a there's a blistered ball joke there somewhere, but uh, I'll let you guys figure that one out. And at number one, like I said, this is uh, the way to play where you'll never get attacked. You will never get raided. You won't even get scouted by another player. This is uh, Boom Beach single player, completely unopposed. If when you start the game, when you start unlocking the map, as you start opening up different regions on the map, that is when you are added into um, the player matching pool, uh, where the player bases start spawning on your map and you spawn on other people's maps and you get attacked. But if you only open certain parts of the map, so like this one, if you only open up these specific parts of the map, then what will happen is, is you'll only get NPC bases on the map, one or two of the daily events and things like that. That's it, as long as you don't open a player base, then you won't get added to the matchmaking pool, which means you'll always be unopposed. A lot of players don't even bother with the map. I know a few people who have played um, unopposed or single player who just completely ignore the map altogether. 
they lay down a whole bunch of green statues and they literally just play this one single screen on the game where they boost up the green statues and they produce as much as they can from the sawmill the quarry and the iron mill they literally just farm their way to as high a level as possible which you can get to the max hq and stuff doing it this way um you don't need your map at all for it obviously if you don't do that though you're not going to get heroes you're not going to uh, you know have any fun attacking stuff things like that you can still play operations if you're in a task force that does operations obviously you won't be able to farm any intel because you won't be getting attacked and you won't be doing raids on your map and things like that if you decide to ignore your map otherwise you can lay down all resource reward statues and then just farm all the npc bases on your map and get all your resources that way like i said because you never get attacked you don't need to worry about losing resources so even if you haven't got enough today tomorrow you can farm up as much as you can again and save that and if you have to wait another day and save it you can do that in complete safety knowing that you're not going to get attacked this way is really quite niche i don't think there's many players out there that have done it or are doing it at the moment um but yeah if you're deciding you want to have a go and you want to start a mini account or if you want a new challenging way to play boom beach give one of these uh, alternative ways to play a go me myself i recommend single sniper they're quite fun and you do level up really quite quick maybe you guys can let me know in the comments what you guys think if you've tried any of these different styles out before um, how you're getting on what level you're at all that kind of good stuff but um for me guys that's it for today don't forget to use our creator code bbtfrg like and subscribe if you're new and i will catch you in the next one thanks for watching guys peace